Tonight's topic of discussion is how to write a short paragraph on the basis of a flowchart or processing. This type of flowchart or processing is very much important for CBSE, ICSE, Madhavik and ISC examinees as well as for all types of competitive exams. Tonight I am teaching you or I am reading with you how a cup of tea is prepared. Clear? And you must use present indefinite tense. Clear? You must use present indefinite tense and passive voice. These are the two most important methods you will have to adopt. Present indefinite tense and passive voice. And you must keep it in your memory that you will have to use some linkers so that the sentences should be connected very very well. Clear? My first introduction, first there must be an introduction and without introduction there cannot be a paragraph. There cannot be a processing, there cannot be a project, whatever you write. My first line, there is a proverb, tea cheers but does not pierce. Tea cheers but does not pierce. A cup of tea can be taken any time a day, any time of a day. It can be prepared, you see that auxiliary verb is can and B is modal, modal passive. B is auxiliary verb and can is modal. So it is called modal passive and there is the past participle form of the word prepared. It can be prepared very easily. First, you see that first is actually the linker. So this is the introduction. There is a proverb, tea cheers but doesn't pierce. A cup of tea can be taken. You see that can be is modal and taken is the past participle form of take. So, it is also modal passive. A cup of tea can be taken any time of a day. It can be prepared very easily. First, a cup of water is taken. You see that there are three forms of beaver. M is A cup of water is singular number. Third person singular number. So, you will have to use is. A cup of water is taken in a pan which is again the verb which is placed on a burning oven. Clear? The water is allowed again passive form. The water is allowed to boil and after a few minutes one teaspoonful of tea leaves is you see the verb and past participle form added is added into the boiling water and the oven is switched off. You see that use of the verb and switched off. It is the past participle form. The oven is switched off. Then the tilts should be allowed. Again you see that should is modal and the verb and there is the past participle form of allow. Allow, allowed, allowed. Me allowed to release liquor and flavor for three minutes. After this, the liquor is poured. You see that liquor is third person singular number. There is the beaver, and poured is the past participle form of pour. Pour, poured, poured is poured into a cup through a sieve. 
and the required quantity of sugar and milk are you see that sugar and milk are plural number are added past participle form added into it finally the liquor is stirred well with a spoon you see that be verb and stirred is the past participle form of stir stirred well with a spoon and a cup of tea is ready to be served it is the infinitive form but in passive voice to be served be verb to infinitive and served past participle form clear so let us read the short paragraph again there is a proverb tea cheers but doesn't cheers a cup of tea can be taken any time of a day it can be prepared very easily first a cup of water is taken in a pan which is placed on a boiling oven the water is allowed to boil and after a few minutes one teaspoonful of tea leaves is added into the boiling water and the oven is switched off then the tea leaves should be allowed to release liquor and flavor for 3 minutes after this the liquor is poured into a cup through a sieve and the required quantity of sugar and milk are added into it finally the liquor is stirred well with a spoon and a cup of tea is ready to be served thanking all of you good night don't forget to subscribe my channel like and comment stay safe stay well